get through. Now where did those fools run off to? By Ifra's hairy feet, you outsiders just keep showing up. You and everyone else in this forest, it seems. My clan has already declared your allies to be trespassers. You don't want to know what we do to trespassers. The Shadow Walkers will catch them. They always... Does a fuzzy newt goat have seven toes? Don't look at me like that. It's a perfectly appropriate analogy. Anyway, I hope I reach them before the hunters do. Otherwise, your allies don't stand a chance. Because I'm tired of seeing people get hurt. Ugh. Things need to change around here. We've already spent way too much time talking about fuzzy newt goats. I really need to get moving. Have you noticed the swords left near these campfires? I think your companions are trying to tell us something. I'm going to keep looking for them. Keep your eyes open and your weapon ready. The shadows here are not your friend. for entering the moonless walk.
need to be alive. You have to be. I need you to help me. I, I didn't do it. I swear, he was like this when I found him. This poor soldier. He didn't have to die. At least the Khajiit got away. How long can he manage to survive, though? I don't know. Because we made a stupid deal long, long time ago. We became the guardians of this forest in exchange for power and immortality. But look at the cost. Now the Shadow Walkers hunt anyone who dare sets foot in the- There might still be a way to save the other soldier, the Khajiit. But you need to trust me. I won't oppose my clan directly. They're my family. But I can help you find your friend. I just want to make sure no one else gets hurt. The Shadow Walkers use runners to search the forest. But you'll never see them. They become one with the shadows, all but invisible when the clan is on high alert. There is a way to see the runners, though. You need to collect the bark of a Spriggan. The bark's magic allows the creatures to... How should I put this? Feel their way through the dark woods. Infuse the bark with the wisps of light, and you should be able to spot the runners. Did you get the bark? We don't have much. Just scrape a bit off the top end. There. An old trick I While it allows you to see anyone hiding in the Shadow Realm, it also masks your presence from them. I've used this method to avoid patrols and sneak out of the forest. It really works. But remember, the effect is temporary. Touch the bark to a wisp of light, and then cross the bridge. The runners are searching for the remaining soldier. When you spot a runner, follow him. He should lead you right to your friend. And if the effect...
creatures acting so strangely today. noise out there. something. I could have sworn I heard something. What's all that noise out there?
so strangely today. one does not understand the game the little elf and the snake thing are playing. But we have something important to do. We need to get into this tower. The key to our... We heard voices in the woods. We thought it was other members of our expedition calling to us for help. But Captain Alfari figured it out. The voice comes from this tower. Whoever is locked in there needs our help. And he... The wood elves started hunting us almost as soon as we stepped into this dread forest. They killed Captain Alfari in cold blood. I barely escaped. The snake thing found this one, lost and injured, and led me safely through the woods. This one isn't sure. The little elf appeared out of nowhere. But at least she didn't try to kill Kabu like the other elves did. They both claim to know how to get inside the tower, but Kamu doesn't trust either one of them. A safe haven in this place. Kamu looks forward to seeing such a thing. Let me rest for a moment before I head out. I wish I could. As far as I can tell, this one doesn't know very much about this area. But this one... Oh, the little elves are ruthless killers. They call themselves the Shadow Walkers. As far as this one can tell, they hunt and kill anything that enters these dark woods. They never even gave us a chance to beg for our lives before they killed Athori. Kamu never saw her before. She stepped out of the shadows, but she didn't attack immediately. It is apparent to this one that she is anxious about something. And she seems... When we were searching the woods, we ran into a few snake things. They attacked us when we got too close. They never seemed to actively hunt us, though. And of course, that snake thing over there helped Kamu. I did notice something else, however. When we were resting at one of the campfires, a group of snake things rushed toward us. But they didn't attack us. They charged the elves sneaking around our camp. The two groups don't seem to like each other. They may even be at war. Oh, what a choice. Like deciding whether to roast slowly or leap right into the flames. There is no good answer. But, well, the friendly snake thing did help me. We shouldn't dismiss them out of hand. They lack organization and fighting skills. But Kamu can't deny their ferocity. I know you can't forgive my clan for what it's done, but they adhere to an ancient promise that will never come to pass. I can help you, though. No one knows that tower better than I do, but I need to ask for your help in return. You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. We've guarded these woods and that cursed tower, assuming that one day Molag Bar would reward us and let us return to Valenwood. But that's not like me. You've been outside this forest. You know about Molag Bar's plan. You know about the plane meld. 
You have to tell them that our agreement is worthless. How can we ever return to Nern if Molagbal destroys it? We shall help you enter the tower, but first you must help us against these foul wood elves. Do not listen to their lies. They murder. We never asked to be dragged into Cold Harbor. We never made a deal with the Daedric Prince. But ever since we got here, the wood elves raid our nests and slaughter our children. This cycle of you are a hero. You stride through Cold Harbor with confidence, and not even the Wood Elves can touch you. You can win. They are monsters. They destroy them. I know you can't... You have to help me convince my clan to break this ages-old agreement. Like me. You... Those monsters. We've been at war with them for ages. My people will never listen to you if you take their side. The Shadow Walkers are powerful. We would be of great help to you. But only if you aid me and convince my people. You've seen my people fight. We're trained to kill. It's what we do. Maybe. Maybe if you can show them that Molag Bal has been using us. Lying to us. Maybe they'll see his treachery for what it is and join your cause. I knew you would help me. In order to help my people, I don't want to get into detail. Was delayed. It was harder to get rid of Zygnith than I thought it would be. Now, what were we talking about? Oh, I remember. Before my people will even listen to you, you need to perform an honor deed. It has to be an act that benefits my clan, something they would expect one of us to be able to accomplish. To really make an impression, you need to hurt the Lamias, kill them, burn their eggs, and defeat their champion. Even our strongest warriors haven't been able to accomplish that. Do these things, and that should be enough to get you an audience. The Shadow Walkers are always watching.
Batman's attention, nothing will. Now let's get the head of the champion and get out of here. Champion is dead. Let's return to the camp where your friend was killed. There's a portal stone there that we can use to reach the council. Side of the Thoroneal has been dragging around the forest. Interesting. I wasn't expecting any of the Shadow Walkers to be here. They haven't attacked yet, so that's a good sign. Just don't do anything to make them nervous, all right? Well, I told you that killing Lamias would get their attention. You performed an honor deed. 
They respect that. Hopefully that respect will last long enough for you to help me before they decide to kill you. You stay here. I'll go see the Council and give them the Lamia's head. That should be all the incentive they need to agree to listen to you. In the meantime, talk to the Wood Elves here. Any information you gain is just another arrow in your quiver. We'll return shortly. You'll be safe here, I promise. Why not get to know a few of these Shadow Walkers? I don't remember the last time I talked to an outsider. Killed one, sure. I do that all the time. But talk? That's a new one for me. I was born and bred in these woods. Never ventured outside its borders. Always wonder what was out there. Farineel is like a sister to me. I almost convinced her to give up her foolish plan and then you showed up. Well, since you made it this far, we might as well try it her way. I guess any chance, no matter how remote, is worth the trouble. I hope I don't live to regret this. Inril is the oldest member of the Council. She's also the most willing to listen. But you have to show her some respect. Let her speak. Respond only when spoken to. That's all I can think of. Hope it helps. You don't look tough enough to have beaten the Lamia champion. But even a mighty storm starts with a light breeze. Still, an honor deed is an honor deed. Maybe the Council of Elders will actually agree to meet with you. I'm not sure I should help you, but you seem to be on Farineel's good side. Maybe if I give you some advice, I'll get on her good side too. I recommend you try a little humor when you talk to Erthor. He's a dry old leaf, but he does like to laugh. You're lucky, outsider. The only thing keeping me from sticking my knife in you right now is our code. But if you think I'm going to help you, think again. Good news. The Council has agreed to meet with you. The Council will see you, but this won't be easy. You have one child- Dealing with the Council can be tricky. It's a collection of individuals, each with his or her own idiosyncrasies. They are devoted to Molag Baal, and our oath of servitude. It won't be easy to convince them to break those ancient promises. You can't fail. You just can't! Were the Shadow Walkers down here helpful? Do you need to talk to them again? When you're ready, just use the portal behind me. Present a good argument and make it count. It's a great privilege allowing you to stand here. Never before has an outsider been permitted to set foot on this platform. My daughter, however, was insistent that we speak with you. We shall hear what you have to say. Yes, we have sworn to protect the passage that leads to the tower known as the Lightless Oubliette. In exchange, we have been given the gift of shadow walking. When our contract is fulfilled, the Daedric Prince shall send us back to Valenwood. Respect is a luxury I cannot afford. I need proof that Molag Ball lies to us. Do you have such proof? Can you show it to me? I have heard your words and I shall think upon them. Please, speak to the other elders.
Spew forth your lies and be quick about it. I have a great many things to contemplate. That annoying Farinil has convinced you of her fables, hasn't she? I tire of this old argument. You speak with confidence and conviction. Very well. I shall consider your words. A persistent fool may know more than an isolated genius. We shall see. You have accomplished much, outsider. Survived the moonless walk, performed an honored deed. Well done. I shall listen to your words and consider them with great respect. I promise you this much, at least. Now, tell me. Why? You must understand. To simply accept the word of an outsider, to turn our backs on everything we believe, you ask much, stranger. St this news disturbs me. Thank you for sharing this information with us. Speak to the other El- You poor child. Dealing with those disgusting Lamias as you navigated the moonless walk must have been so unnerving. Such horrible creatures. Now, sad little Farinil mentioned that you bring us news from Nern. What is it? Such terrible news. But how could I know that what you say is true? It makes no sense. Why would Morlog Ball destroy our beautiful and beloved Valenwood? The poor animals that roam the Valenwood. The people. I... I shall consider... We have heard enough. Use the portal and return to my daughter's side. You have given us much to discuss, outsider. You're back. Tell me everything. Did it go well? Were you able to convince them? Of course they are. That's what the Council does. Sometimes I think that's all they ever do. But do you think they're going to help you? Of course you did. I know you did. Now we just have to wait. Ah, someone's stepping through the portal now. Outsider, step forth and hear the decision of the... The Council has discussed what you told us. Debated your words from every angle even drew upon Farineel's arguments from past meetings. Understand that we did not reach our decision lightly. The Council can no longer ignore the truth happening around us. For too long we obeyed our vows and waited for a reward that will never be granted. Should we continue on our path, even after Valenwood is destroyed? It means that your argument has convinced us. I sent runners to unlock the ruined passage that leads to the tower. My daughter said that you were interested in the place. I will also send a group of soldiers to aid you against my... What did my father say? Did you convince them? Yes, you did it. You really did it. I've tried for so long to convince them. When the council finally makes a decision, they act with speed and certainty. I suggest you head for the door to the ruined passage as quickly as you can.
waited for centuries. And waited and waited. Do you know how boring that can be? But now, you are here. Just the Radiant One knows many things. She knew that one day the city she plunged into Cold Harbor would serve her purpose. At first, she thought I would fulfill that prophecy. But I failed. Have no fear. I am as alive as you are. Molog Baal has preserved me so that I can endure his endless tortures. His cruelty knows no bounds. I can't slip free of this lightless oubliette, but I have managed to send my projection to meet you. I knew you were the one I was... You made it this far, just as I had predicted. I was captured. Bring the light. You made it this far, just as I had predicted. I was captured shortly after Meridia pushed her city into this dread realm. This prison relies on darkness. Early on, I almost broke free. Now, Molog Baal shapes the darkness itself to bind me, suppressing my attempts to escape. Molog Baal has trapped me within a pillar of darkness, infused with his own vile energy and powered by the light of Meridia. That, however, will be his undoing. The light of Meridia can also banish this darkness, but you have to bring it to me. To reach me, you must first unlock the prison door. Molag Baal uses crystal... I am the last Aeliad King. In our ancient language, my name means ruler in dark times. I can imagine no darker time than the end of the Aeliad people. I am a servant of Meridia, her master tactician and strategist. Between my master's blessings and the time-distorting nature of this dread realm, I am still alive. Consider that your good fortune, for you will never defeat Molag Baal without to reach me. You must... Enter the library and collect the Mind Shadow Crystal. Then place it on the central dais at the entrance.
into the frozen alcove and collect the flame shadow crystal. Then place it on the central dais at the entrance. Enter the garden and collect the Life Shadow Crystal. Then place it on the central dais at the entrance. Yeah! <laughs> 
done, my friend. Now, enter the oubliette and set me free. is imprisoned within a pillar of darkness, generated by the ebon shards to each side. shards. Then the pillar of darkness will collapse, and I shall be free.
My calculation suggested that you had a slightly better chance to fail rather than to succeed. I suspect, though, that you often beat the odds. Agreed. Allow me to create a portal to Meridia's city. We can speak there. This portal leads to the Hollow City. We shall talk again when we are safely inside its walls. Welcome, friend. I... This work isn't going to do itself. looking for some
you're looking for something.